Hello, welcome back to another Thinker Highlight in Kainga. Today we're going to look at Kala and Jira, the Thinker duo. Kala is the kid on top, and Jira is the snail-like creature below. And together, they act as one. Let's jump into Ice Ridge here today. How fortuitous! We start with a bunch of stone nearby, but uh, Kala and Jira start with stone as well. Now, as well as three braves and two shield bearers who hold stone shields and, and walk quite slowly. The ice ridge is a giant mountain that we all have to share together. There's a lot of snow that falls here that we have to deal with, so let's get started. While we get some houses built up, let's take a look at Kyle and Jira's festival. The stone chariot obviously requires stone bricks, but also a bit of fabric, and this will create a sprout trail which will grow all types of resources and fertile ground behind it. On drier maps like Flatlands, this can be very helpful. The beast spirit house will respawn Jira, which we'll see later, and the rise the buried ruins will rise ancient ruins similar to the one we see next to us here. Let's check it out. Looks like the snow is beginning to fall. While trying to take this inspiration, I was attacked. <sighs> My shield bearers are quite powerful, and they can handle a lot of challenges. If, however, your thinker does fall, and all your health is gone, Kala and Jira have a unique mechanic. But once they're killed, They respawn. Uh, Jira is killed, but Kala survives. Let's get some help with this raid. Once Jira is gone, you can get him back by using the Beast Spirit House Festival. By placing this on top of Kala, it is indicated that this will respawn Jira as the focus. Jira's back. If, however, you choose to host the Beast Spirit House on flat land when Jira is still alive, there will be an entirely different outcome. In these cases, you call the beasts below the soil. Mighty crustacean, risen from the earth. Although you cannot control it, you will move part of your town or wherever the beast spirit house was built to a new location. bricks to get these buildings completed, so let's hope to host the Buried Ruins Festival to uncover ruins buried beneath the earth. You can 
see the ruins rising up out of the ground. That should be enough to complete our constructions. Travels, it should sprout trees and bamboo and fertile ground. There it grows. Palm trees and bamboos as it goes. taking a look at Kala and Jiro with me. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into another one of Kainga's thinkers.